Natural disaster. Mama Sam. Hey, what's going on, guys? Taking here in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make the effect that you have just seen on screen. Uh, if you do end up enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like as well as subscribe, as it really does help me out uh, and allows me to uh, continue doing these types of videos. Uh, so, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the effect. Alright, I'm going to be walking you through how to turn just these clips that are currently synced into the actual effect that you have just seen on screen. Uh, so we're going to start off by applying our impact to the first pump right here. Uh, so just go ahead and double click on here, just go six frames back, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, go ahead and double click once again, and now back off 12 frames. So we're going to go uh, right here. Uh, next, set this middle one to 50 and this last one to 400. Uh, right click on this and interpolate it to a slow fade. Go three frames forward, one, two, three. Uh, double click and set it to 50. Uh, now go to this 400% and set it to fast. Uh, now we have this impact ready to go right here. Just go ahead and split the clip on the kill right there and apply our impact. Uh, this will be for free in the description, of course. It'll be through a uh, recognized link or whatever. Uh, so just go ahead and follow those steps. Just subscribe, like the video, and you will uh, you'll get this preset pretty much. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove a couple things that make it a bit harder to see. Uh, but as you can see, if we go ahead and play this back, uh, we have the uh, the thing right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it once again. There we go. Uh, now we can just go ahead and do this to our second uh, impact as well, just uh, because. So one, two, three. Uh, four, five, six back and uh, 12 back again. So it'd be 25. Just like that, just go ahead and repeat the velocity on the second one. Uh, obviously, if you already have your velocity, you don't really need to do these settings. However, I do really recommend these velocity settings because they are quite cool, uh, I would say. Uh, so yeah, now we have got both of these set up. Uh, so we're going to play it back. Uh, it should look like this. Just like that. Now, obviously, that is not the effect that we've seen uh, in, at the start of this video. So we are going to actually convert this into... Uh, we're going to add the transition, essentially. All right, now what we need to do is we need to go forward one frame in this right here. So go forward one frame, uh, hit split and drag this back all the way to the first impact. Now it should look like that, uh, but that is not really something that we want. So there are two steps you can actually take here. You can either posterize the time instead of 24 frames, uh, or you can just have a bit of fun and control drag it uh, however you want. Uh, obviously if you had posterize, you can just you know set the frame separation or whatever. Uh, it can be a bit buggy sometimes with the event pan crop tool, uh, so I prefer to just control drag it. So in order to actually do that, you just remove the velocity envelope and you hold control on your keyboard and you drag it back just like that. Uh, and then you don't, you let go of control, you drag it forward and you drag, hold control again, drag it here and then you drag it forward. Now what this is going to do is it's going to make it a bit, a uh, bit laggy, uh, but it's going to be very, very easy for us to actually uh, mask so um, it's also going to look a whole lot better in the actual transition because if you have 60 FPS, it might look a bit strange. Uh, so just make sure that these line up here at the bottom. And now what we need to do is actually crop this out, unfortunately. Uh, this is not very fun. It actually isn't. So um, <laughs> I'm just going to show you how to do it on the first one, and then you can just continue by yourself. Uh, I'm going to make a very, very, very rough mask here. So uh, hypothetically, you were to mask this up perfectly. I'm just going to go ahead and do it like this. Just like that P fucking flawless mask right there. And now just go forward to whenever this moves. So right here, so it moves right there. Just go one frame back, add a keyframe, go forward, uh, press V on your keyboard or go to the cursor, uh, delete and then you mask it all over again. Now you need to do this for the entire remainder. You should have like 10 to 15 masks probably. Uh, but in the end, it is 100% worth it because you get some cool some cool stuff. Uh, now, uh, I have already got my mask thing here. I've already done it for the, uh, the start. So it is going to be right here. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the, uh, the settings on this. But as you can see, I already have it. Uh, just masked out like that, um, as you can see. 
Uh, now what we need to do is we need to actually add some motion to this. So what we're going to go ahead and do is I've made a new video track and just dragged it up so we can actually play along with the track motion of the uh, the track. So just go to the first frame right here and left click on this, click on track motion, uh, make it significantly bigger than this, and just drag it all the way to the bottom. Uh, you can just make sure that this center line is aligned with the center dots and that the uh, this line is also lined with a dot right there. So it should be like that roughly. Just make sure that you can see anything. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to go uh, right here. So roughly in the middle of the transition, maybe a bit more forward actually, like sort of here. And we drag this up or we just right click and click on restore box. Uh, this needs to be a slow fade. So uh, let me just double click that is no, th this needs to be a fast fade. That is my bad. So set it to a fast fade. And uh, as you can see, uh, it will look quite well if we just play this back. Just like that. Uh, now, obviously, we can't just keep it like this. Uh, that's just on my second screen. So now we're going to go ahead and do the video effects tab, search for blur directional. Uh, just go ahead and uh, apply default, set the angle to 90 and the blur amount to 0 0.03. Uh, go ahead and keyframe it on the first frame. Uh, go to the very end or go to the end of the movement and drag it to zero. So if we play this back, it should have uh, some sort of like camera exposure effect uh, on top of it. Uh, now, if you want to add drop shadow to this, you are, of course, free to do so. Uh, however, I've found that it looks quite a bit cleaner uh, if you don't actually do that. Uh, now, for the second part, which is actually transitioning the background and not the foreground, uh, you do have a couple of options. Uh, you can either, you know, just fade it in uh, just very, very simply. I'm going to show how to do that. So we just hold one frame there, make a new video track, drag that up, go to the first one, freeze frame. Uh, and go drag that all the way like up here probably and then drag it out like that uh, Now I need to delete that keyframe because it didn't quite work with me uh, just, If you go and do that and then just fade it in drag that underneath the actual uh, Thing we should now have a sort of fade thing that doesn't actually interfere with the background uh, Now you can also do something slightly different uh, which is going to be to uh, just go ahead and repeat the same process uh, of sort of a freeze frame. Uh, but this time you uh, you actually just do something else with it, essentially. So uh, just go ahead and repeat the same process, but it needs to be uh, sort of further back like that. And now you go into track motion uh, and drag it all the way up. Now make sure it's centered, of course, as per the key for the, the little dots on the, uh, the, the, sc the screen or whatever, just like that. Uh, set this uh, to a slow fade by right clicking on it, going, go to the very end and set to restore box. Now what this does is it just sort of, you know, does that thing. Um, depends on, you know, what you actually want. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and play this back for you guys so you can decide what you do want. Uh, now, obviously, this is very, very linear, very linear in Vegas Pro, which is why I've decided not to do it in the actual preview, because according to me, it looks a bit, bit shit, really. It really does. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, delete that. Uh, now, lastly, I'm just going to go ahead and add some gun sounds because I am a perfectionist. Uh, actually, I'm not. That is a complete fucking lie. I am just not a perfectionist whatsoever. Uh, there we go. And now we should be good. There we go. All right. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to like down below, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple days. And peace.